Question 18. A, a company declares a dividend of 8%. Melly owns 1,300 shares of value 75 kwacha each. How much dividend does she receive? That's question M. Question B, the point negative 1, comma negative 4 is the midpoint of the line PQ. Given that P is the point 2, comma negative 3, find the coordinates of the point Q. And that's two marks each. So let us start with A. So if you look at question A, the first thing is understanding the question. So the question is asking us to find how much dividend does he merely receives. Okay, so what are the facts? Mary owns these shares, which are valued at 75 quarter each. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to calculate the total nominal value of the shares. So how do you find the total nominal value, which is the first step? So total nominal value, I'll call it TNV, total nominal value of this share is equal to, we need to know the number of shares. So we are given already this, is this one, shares, then multiply by the value per share, value per share. Then once we find this, we need now to find 8% of this, that will be step 2. 8% of this is the dividend that Mel received. So we have 1,300 times 75 kwacha. So, the easiest way to find this value is we divide 1,300 into two parts. So, we are going to have 1,000 times 75, which is going to say uh, 1,000 times 75, because we don't have a calculator. Then, multiply by, again, this standard multiplied by 75. So, we need, I'm breaking this one into two components, the 1,000. You will notice that it becomes easier. 1,000 times 75, this is... Actually, 75,000 because of this. Okay? That's the first component. Then, 300 times 75, I can just say, let me use this as space somewhere. So, it will just be the same as 75 times 3. Then, I remember these two zeros. So, it will be 3 times 5 is 15, card 1. 3 times 7 is uh, 21 plus 1, it will be 22. Then, plus this two zeros. So I'm going to have, to have this two, two, five zeros, two zeros, which will be 22,500. When I add this, 75 plus 22 is 97. 97, then plus this 500, plus this 97, 500 kwacha. That's the total nominal value. Then, after you find this total nominal value, the next thing, is to find 8% of this. 8% of this. So how do I find 8%? So this is still A. We continue. A continue. So we're going to say 8 over 100 multiplied by 97 1500 like that. Then I know that this one and this one cancels. So what I remain with is 8 times 97, 5, like that. Then this becomes now even easier. So it's just a matter of doing now 9, 7, 5, then 8 here. Multiply. 8 times 5 is a 40, call the 4. 8 times 7. So 8 times 7 is 56. 56 plus 4 is 60. So we call it 6. Then 8 times 9 is 72. So 72 plus 6 is 78. So I've got 7,800 kwacha. So 
this is the answer here 7800 question that's how you answer this question so we go to beam so we are given this is this point is a midpoint of pq then we are told p is this the question is to find q that's what the question is asking us to do so what you do is i can draw these lines we have negative negative then we are going to uh coming from to there that so what this tells me is half got this one is in the midpoint which is in negative one comma negative four this is the midpoint then what i have is i have p which is this one two comma negative three so i'm looking for q so two comma negative three this is what it tells me is this is p which is two comma negative three two comma negative three i'm looking for this value which is q which is x comma y that's what i'm looking for so we use the midpoint formula so the midpoint formula is uh the value of x at midpoint is equal to we have x1 plus x2 over 2 then the y midpoint is equal to y1 plus y2 over 2 like that then i know this is x1 and y1 so the midpoint there is now negative 1 equals x which is the value of p plus 2 over 2 then what does this one simplify so what we do is cross multiply so 2 times negative 1 this gives me negative 2 equals x plus 2 what is x so it becomes negative 2 minus 2 equals x so x is equal to negative 4 that's the first value of x so we have negative 4 then i solve for the value of y now similarly the value of y it will be negative 4 equals so this is negative 4 equals y plus negative 3 so is equal to y plus negative 3 over 2 then again we use the same principle we close multiply so it will be negative 4 times 2 equals y minus 3 because negative times positive is a negative so I have negative 8 equals y minus 3 so negative 8 then plus 3 don't the 3 negative 3 closes the equal sign becomes a positive equals y so y is equal to negative 5 so meaning q is equal to negative 4 comma negative 5 and when we go and light the answer to b this is negative 4 comma negative 5 so once you do this you are good to go you get the four marks i've taken a bit of time because i need to give you the context Thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to download our companion app in the description section of this video.